Yeah, so we had a very tight nine year timeline in order to revolutionize Helsinki's heating system. No coal based heat, no new bioenergy systems allowed. So we therefore needed to pinpoint specific key technologies in this puzzle of renewable energy, electrification, costs, development, timelines, reliability, safety, resilience, and many, many other things. So after some brainstorming, we came up with a mixture, or should I say a smorgasbord, of existing and mature technologies, as well as some novel technologies, most notably a thermochemical energy storage system using nano-coated salt. In our implementation plan, we tried to exploit as much as possible the existing infrastructure. We thought, well, why destroy good buildings as well as rip out pipes and cables and stuff like that when we could actually reuse them? So then we actually needed to map all of this complexity, the complex interactions between energy supply, demand and storage. So this is something that was quite difficult for our mortal brains. So we decided to get a bit clever and use artificial intelligence. We tossed all the critical data of these selected technologies into our forecasting and optimization that we developed. And we, or should I say our algorithm, mined its way through various scenarios in order to find the right combination for technologies. And then Smart Salt City was born. A fine balance between high efficiency heat pumps, low cost electric boilers, standard thermal energy storage systems, as well as some existing low carbon heating plants. And of course, the novel thermochemical energy storage system, which is charged electrically, but can deliver heat and or electricity whenever it's demanded. All for the very reasonable increase of about 5 to 10% in the end users bill by 2030 or so. We think we found the right balance for Helsinki, but we see with some tweaking, we can actually do basically the same thing for other pioneering cities or countries.